Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, coming up on this week's episode. Georgia's flagship aviation school to help boost ATC hiring. Air Race Classic reveals its next competition route. Samson sets out to train the first gen of flying car pilots. And I'm your host, Holland Blake. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, a weekly program dedicated to future aviators and aviation professionals. Airborne Flight Training is brought to you in part by King Schools. King Schools has been leading the effort in producing expert aviation training programs and computer-based learning software for over 50 years. Find out why pilots love King Teaching at kingschools.com. Now let's get into today's stories. Georgia's flagship aviation school to help boost ATC hiring. Middle Georgia State University will be joining the FAA's fight against the air traffic controller shortage through its collegiate training initiative program known as ATCTI. It joins six other educational institutions from across the United States. Transportation Secretary Sean Duffy noted, quote, We need more of the best and brightest in our towers to make our nation's air traffic system the envy of the world. Enhanced ATCTI programs like the one at Middle Georgia State University are key to building the next generation workforce, reducing delays, unlocking the future of aviation, end quote. Instead of having to move to Oklahoma and complete ATC training at the FAA Academy, ATCTI allows students to work through the three-month course from home with their local professors. After graduation, qualified students could be placed straight into FAA facilities or apply to work in federal contract towers. Several institutions were approved for ATCTI throughout late 2024 and early 2025, including Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, Tulsa Community College, the University of Oklahoma, and the University of North Dakota. Vaughn College was the fifth addition to the program and the first in the Northeast, earning certification on April 9th, followed by SUNY Schenectady County Community College on May 30th. On July 2nd, Middle Georgia State University became the seventh ATCTI member and the first from Georgia. After the break, Captain Sully bashes potential FAA administrator. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Captain Sully bashes potential FAA administrator. Captain Sully Sullenberger, the pilot who saved 155 people by safely landing an A320 in the Hudson River, has come forward with his thoughts on Trump's pick to head the FAA, saying, quote, we all deserve better. The nominee has made some highly questionable comments regarding pilot experience requirements. Sullenberger warned that Bedford's appointment could undo his life's work in pursuit of aviation safety. He pointed specifically to Bedford's lack of commitment to the 1,500-hour rule, a post-Colgan air crash regulation requiring airline pilots to have a minimum of 1,500 flight hours before carrying passengers. Embraer Open Scholarships for Aeronautical Engineering MS Brazilian aircraft manufacturer Embraer announced it has open scholarship applications for the new edition of its Master of Science in Aeronautical Engineering program, a career advancement initiative conducted in partnership with the Technological Institute of Aeronautics. The master's program is completed over an 18-month period, during which the selected candidates will take part via both in-person and remote classes held in São José dos Campos, Brazil, at Embraer's headquarters and ITA. NORAD intercepts 11 planes during Trump's holiday trip. NORAD pilots have been kept busy during President Trump's stay at his Bedminster, New Jersey home. Over the holiday weekend, MH-65 helicopters and F-16 fighters intercepted 11 planes within the surrounding restricted airspace. The violations began on Saturday, July 5th, and included five separate incursions that day alone. 
One aircraft was intercepted just before 2.40 p.m. Eastern by an F-16 that performed a headbutt maneuver, a standard procedure where the military jet flies directly in front of the confused plane to get the pilot's attention and direct them away. Gamma thankful for final passage of reconciliation bill. The General Aviation Manufacturers Association welcomed the final passage of the budget reconciliation bill that retained multiple provisions intended to promote the growth and sustainability of the nation's aviation industry, as well as revamp and upgrade the technologies and infrastructure of the ATC system. The legislation has had the continuous support of more than 50 aviation stakeholders, comprising the Modern Skies Coalition of Aviation Associations, trade unions, manufacturers, and others. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Air Race Classic reveals its next competition route. With the buzz of the 2025 competition settling down, the Air Race Classic is ready to restir the pot by unveiling its 2026 route. The all-women cross-country will center around Illinois, taking pilots on a southern loop through 10 stops. The race is set to take place June 23rd to 26th, 2026, kicking off in East Alton, Illinois, and winding through eight additional stops before finishing in Mount Vernon, Illinois. Each leg of the race requires precise flight planning and teamwork under VFR conditions, often facing a wide variety of weather and terrain. The full path is East Alton, Illinois, Frankfort, Kentucky, Spartanburg, South Carolina, Douglas, Georgia, Tanner, Alabama, Macomb, Mississippi, Russellville, Arkansas, Atchison, Kansas, Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin, and Mount Vernon, Illinois. Organizers say the 2026 race will spotlight Illinois' aviation history while providing a varied and challenging course for competitors. The event is open to women pilots holding at least a private pilot certificate and 100 hours of piloting command time. Teams fly normally aspirated stock general aviation aircraft and are judged not on speed but on how closely their actual flight times match their handicap speeds. After these messages, Samson sets out to train the first generation of flying car pilots. Direct Fly USA proudly introduces the new Alto NG, a single engine, two seat light sport aircraft for the North American market. This simple, all-metal aircraft design provides low-maintenance cost, easy, comfortable access, and responsive flight controls. Equipped with a Rotax 912 engine and a ballistic parachute, the Alto NG is reliable and safe. Learn more about the Alto NG at directflyusa.com. Welcome back. Samson sets out to train the first generation of flying car pilots. With an increasingly high rate of flying car customers proving to be non-pilots, manufacturer Samson Sky is introducing a new training program using its Switchblade vehicle. The program will be available to both owners and non-customers. The Switchblade is a two-seat rotable aircraft that converts from car to airplane in under three minutes, drawing attention from across the U.S. for its practicality and modern design. It runs on premium unleaded gas, cruises at 160 miles per hour in the air, and offers a range of about 450 miles. The vehicle can be parked in a residential garage and driven to the airport, appealing to regional travelers who routinely take 250 to 500 mile trips. To address this, Samson's training program will provide owners or aspiring owners with access to instruction, flight sims, and partnerships with existing flight schools. The company also plans to develop its own training infrastructure as it expands. Owner Sam Bousfield said, quote, One key portion of our program is the use of advanced flight simulators where students can master each new maneuver before going up in the air, end quote. Samson points out that after an airline pilot shortage was projected in the early 2020s, the number of student pilots in the U.S. tripled within five years. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.